There's a long-standing tradition across America of tracking Santa as he makes his way all around the globe. It's done by NORAD, and so I thought to myself, I gotta know more about this. What better person to ask than an Arkansas native, Master Sergeant Tabitha Lee, who works at NORAD. That's who we're joined with today. Now, uh, Miss Lee, you gotta tell us, how did this all begin? So the tradition of tracking Santa actually started 69 years ago in 1955. There was an advertisement in a local paper for kids to call to talk to Santa. Incidentally, they listed the number incorrectly for this hotline. Um, and it ended up listing an unlisted number. And it was the number to call Cheyenne Mountain Space Force Station, well, what is now Cheyenne Mountain Space Force Station. Um, and a, a colonel, an Air Force colonel, answered the phone. And at first, he thought he was being pranked, right? Because they're calling a military installation asking to speak with Santa Claus. Um, and when he realized, that it was actually a child calling to talk to Santa, he decided, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to tell him where Santa is. And so he started, he told the child, you know, this is where Santa's at, this is where we're tracking him. Um, and then from my understanding that night, more calls came in because this, this number is what, what they had. Um, and the Colonel kind of instructed people, Hey, yeah, let, let them know where Santa's at. And then since then we've been doing it. So this long standing tradition of 69 years, all began because of an accident, a typo, a misprint. Wow, okay. So I imagine over 69 years, our technology has evolved, right? Uh, what tools are you guys utilizing to track Santa? Right, so NORAD actually uses three different systems every day, right, to track what's going on in North American airspace and abroad, right? So we use um, air, military aircraft, we use satellites, and we use radar. Um, and those systems allow us to track what's going on in North American airspace and provide warnings and safeguard our airspace every single day. And that helps keep Santa safe as well. So everyone wakes up Absolutely. with Christmas presents and a Merry Christmas that morning. You guys calculate the speed of Santa, which is quite remarkable. Uh, he moves very quickly all around the globe. What goes into that or is it top secret? So the actual speed that Santa travels is so fast. We know that it's f faster than starlight, um, but we don't have exact numbers. There's a lot of information that only Santa knows, um, and that's one of them. So how many people are involved in running Sa Santa Tracker there at NORAD? Like, give me the behind the scenes. Right, so there's over a thousand people that help, um, including like NORAD Northcom itself, our military, civilian, right? We're a bi-national command, so it's U.S. and Canadian military here. Um, so it's all of them. We also have a ton of local volunteers that volunteer to answer phones at the call center and share the information. Um, and then we have over 70 um, private and corporate contributors that help us with all the behind the scenes technology and websites and phones and things like that, because it's, it's a huge lift and we're thankful for all of our partners that help. So uh, describe NORAD on Christmas Eve. What is it like? What's the atmosphere like and, and how intense does it get? So it is extremely exciting. Um, this will be my first year um, being part of like the NORAD Trek Santa and the call center. Um, but I can tell you just in the building now, the excitement, um, it's, it's already up there. And I'm really excited to be part of the call center and be part of actually seeing it like in, in the control center now. Like I'm really excited to see that. Um. So tracking Santa is more than just his location. Are there any other features that uh, that families and, and children really enjoy? Yeah, so if, you know, they we have our call center that they can call and the number for that is 1-877-HI-NORAD or they can go to our website, which is www.noradsanta.org. Um, and on that website, there's actually a lot of activities they can do. The website's up now. Um, there's some games they can play, there's a countdown, there's some videos on there about NORAD and kind of the things that we, we've done in the past and some history. Um, and then on December 24th, they can see on there um, the, the tracking of where Santa is um, and, and still play games and stuff on that night as well. So aside from where's Santa, are there some other common questions that come up when kids call the hotline? Um, what I can say is that I know that um, you know, kids all around the world have all kinds of questions about where Santa is, what he's doing, when's he going to get to my house, um, and those sorts of things. Um, and, and with that question, like, we actually don't know his route and where he's going to be. That's a top secret Santa thing that he doesn't share with us. So. 
what are some other things that you typically like to tell folks in the public uh, about NORAD Track Santa? So an interesting fact um, that I learned um, when I, I came on and I started um, with this program was actually that the systems that we use every day to track in um, North American airspace, right, and abroad, um, we actually use um, a system that tracks infrared, which is what um, Rudolph's nose gives off, right? It gives oh, off an infrared signal just similar to like a missile launch, and that's how we're able to track where Santa is. Of course, what? that makes so much sense. So there's a lot of fun here, but there's also a lot of science all at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, what is the thing you're looking forward to the most this year as your first year? You've known about the program probably since you were a kid, and now mm -hmm. you're a part of it. What are you most excited about? I am most excited about being in the call center. Um, getting to spread joy is one of the most fun things about this mission with Nora Trexana, um, and I'm really excited to be part of that. And it just really brighten um, the holiday season for everyone, you know, kids, adults, all the same, right? Uh, give me that hotline on that website one more time. So the website is noredsanta.org. What, what, uh, what message do you have to the, the boys and the girls, the children out there that are, are highly anticipating Santa's arrival this year? Uh, any, any final messages? So I will say, um, we know, um, right, that Santa, historically speaking, from all the data that we have, right, he goes across the globe, he comes to people's houses, he drops off the presents, but he, we also know that he only does it when children are asleep. Whoa. That is the one thing that we know. We don't know when he's coming, typically between 9 p.m. and midnight, but the kids also have to be sleeping for Santa to show up. So. Maybe there's some kids out there that are really excited to track Santa. They've learned about your work and they might see themselves doing something very similar when they grow up. What can you tell us about your job and how, uh, how someone could follow your career path? Right, so um, I joined the Air Force about 18 years ago. Um, I went to a recruiter in Blavel, Arkansas, um, and I was just really interested in, you know, seeing the world, serving my country, that sort of thing. And, and I went in, I asked questions. Um, there are many assignments that you can get in the military, many different places you can go. I think that I'm really lucky to end up here in Colorado Springs and to work for NORAD. And that's something that kids are interested in um, and they can go talk to a recruiter and, and see what their future could hold. Master Sergeant Lee, we are so thankful for your time here this morning. And I gotta tell you, we are actually gonna be broadcasting your Santa tracker on our free app, Five Plus. So the folks can call the hotline, they can go to your website, they can download our app. It's gonna be anywhere you could possibly be. And hey, here's the thing, if you need a Doppler radar network, you know how to get a hold of me. Just give me a call, okay? Absolutely, thank you for having me on. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.